Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Boy, I'm really enjoying this. It's Sunday morning here on the mountain and I am appreciating being back to my quiet little uh, getaway here. Um, the workers are off today and I think our guests are out and about doing something, but they haven't been noisy or anything anyways. But yeah, it's just really nice to have the property to myself. I've had a nice leisurely Sunday morning so far. Had some um, orange juice and uh, sugarcane juice mixed and then had a big bowl of mango to start off. Because um, Sunday means yesterday was market day and it was another great day at the market but anyhow i want to talk to the people today that are struggling on the raw vegan lifestyle um, i do videos every day um, on the raw vegan lifestyle and a whole food plant-based lifestyle uh, fitness a little bit of meditation a little bit of philosophy added in here and there so if you're not already subscribed i'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button now and click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel and uh, hopefully you'll come back and watch some more of my videos um, you know, I was just thinking about that this this morning as I was laying in bed leisurely, just goofing off, like searching around on the internet, uh, kind of just preparing for this video, but not, I haven't been writing down a lot for the videos lately. Um, just kind of been flowing with it a little bit more, but I just got thinking about it's always about the process and I want to do it again. Like I say, it's kind of boring, but I just like to repeat those basics and it goes back to the process. Um, you know, I watch tons and tons and tons of people. Um, I've got, I, you know, I don't have a particular person in my head. I just tend to see like big picture type things. And I just hear people all the time. And I know these faces that I've been connected with that have been trying to be raw vegan, trying to do raw vegan, struggling on raw vegan, failing on raw vegan, having guilt about it and just like, just kind of chaos over the years. So I just kind of wanted to offer a, a few suggestions today for people that may be like this and um, maybe it'll help you. Maybe this will be the one to help you. Um, have you ever thought about um, do, having, doing a do-over or if not completely doing a do-over, just taking a step back? Um, that's one thing I see so much here and I see that I try to, like, like I say, so I can kind of develop patterns just in my head for people's behavior. I kind of try to really pay attention. And I, I noticed that a lot of people that are struggling on this lifestyle, that have failed on this lifestyle, that some of them are not even around anymore, tried to, do, tried to bite off a little too much too soon. They're the, hard, they, they're the ones that like get that zeal in them and um, listen to some of those hardcore messages and they hear about those people that are like, well, I went raw overnight and they want to go to fully raw vegan um, or they just want to get to where they want to get to quickly. Um, well, you know, for the lot of people, if I mean, you know, I didn't come to this lifestyle until I was 48 years old, but even if you're in your 20s, even if you're in your 30s, that means a couple or three decades of... Um, programming of just your body being used to eating a certain way so you can't expect um, just for everything to click for everything to happen overnight as I talk about all the time it's about a process and that's why I'm saying if you're struggling on the raw vegan style maybe you've done it all wrong maybe you've been stubborn maybe you were like well I can do this maybe you weren't willing to accept some things about yourself um, and just say, hey, maybe I, it, it, just because you say you admit failure, you admit you made the wrong approach, doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means you're working on your process. So what I would suggest in this is, like I say, just take a step back. And you can decide how far of a step back you need to take by how much you have struggled on this lifestyle. Um, for some people, maybe you need to just go, you know, maybe you need to almost say, hey, I'm doing a do-over or mulligan, as they call it in golf, and go all the way back to the beginning. Because I'm going to tell you something, you can disagree, you can like it, you can not like it, whatever. I am pretty convinced, and, and take out any sort of medical conditions, medical problems, because that's way over my head. I'm pretty damn convinced I could take any average person, and if they actually came and were with me, or I was there with them, and I was every day, hey, let's do this, let's eat that. I could take anybody to be raw vegan in three months. And also, don't try to play devil's advocate on me. It would also depend, too, on our availability of, of food in your area or whatever. But I'm just kind of talking in generalities here. Don't try to be a picky lawyer. But I, yeah, I could mostly, just by the process, I could take people through that process and probably turn them in three months. But people 
they don't want to put that time in. They just kind of want it to happen. And for some people it does, you know, I just kind of started eating. I don't do, um, I haven't tracked a lot of stuff. I don't use chronometer. I don't have a journal. I don't have a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about that I've talked about before, but it just kind of happened for me, but I would, you know, I've, I have to do that in other areas of my life and I find hacks. I find ways to do it. So you're struggling. Maybe you step back, maybe you do, tra maybe you need to transition again. Maybe you step all the way back. Don't worry so much about the raw food. Worry about getting some of the things out of your diet, cleaning up your diet, and then weaning yourself back off the, some of the cooked to a fully raw version if that's where you wanna go. But look at it as a marathon, not a sprint. Look at the long term. Don't get so caught up in, you know, sometimes too, like I say, this raw is law, it just, it, this raw is law mentality can actually prevent some people from getting to being fully raw. If you want to be fully raw, that's all good. Um, when I say, you know, don't be obsessive about it, it's okay. I'm just saying use the best path to get there. Um, you're not doing yourself any favors by saying, yeah, I don't believe in eating any one bite of cooked food, but you keep doing that. You make yourself a plan. If you're struggling on this and you want to start over from the beginning, here's what I would suggest go on chronometer or go on one of these sites that tracks your calories um, because a lot of people don't know that i've kind of gotten to where i can eyeball you know i know about how much an average banana has and i can adjust by the size i know about how much is in a mango um, so i know my certain ones certain people don't certain people don't know their percentages so if you need to do that set yourself up a chronometer account and track your food you know put it in there and to help keep that, and then you can track it in, but then this gives you, I don't, not having been on chronometer, I don't know how it stores stuff. So maybe you don't need to keep a journal if you're putting everything into chronometer. I'm just, the reason I want you to have a journal if you're struggling is then if you're struggling and you wanna ask somebody for help or you wanna know what the problem is, it's right there in black and white. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. You don't have to sit around and speculate and say, well, yeah, I don't eat that much of this, or I don't eat that much of that. You write every bite of food, every drink, everything that goes into your body down. And then you're able to go back and you can hone that. You know, you can take little things out. You can add things in. Um, you can work on how many calories you need. But it's all about the process, and it's all about putting a little bit of work into it. I mean, it's just... I, I think people are just kind of closing their eyes and wishing and uh, that are the one the people that are struggling like they're just closing their eyes and wishing and hanging on and keep they keep going to the groups and posting in some sort of a false hope that this thing is just gonna they're gonna keep doing the same way they're doing they're gonna keep using their same process and it's just gonna all of a sudden magically click one day well no we keep doing the same things over and over and over we're most likely going to get the same results um, so and there you go right there, just in general, change. If something isn't working, you make a change in it. You don't just kind of keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over thinking that uh, that process will somehow is going to work eventually. Um, and don't, you know, don't be proud. It's like I say, this is always about our health. Don't be too proud to take a step back. Don't be, you know, you might be like, well, shoot, I've been hanging around two or three years now and talking to all these people. I've been around and almost is like, um, it's almost like, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I can't come up with the word right now, but it's almost kind of an embarrassment or like, I'm not as good as the rest. If I take a step back and I'm eating, maybe you're eating some cooked food in the mindset of I'm eating some cooked food again to work on getting to fuller to, to more raw. Um, like I say, I would focus more always, always, always on if you're going to try to get to that fully raw version of doing a version of the raw vegan diet, the raw vegan lifestyle that is whole food plant based. Learn how to eat more food in there, you know, not so much of, um, you know, I mean, like I say, I like the dehydrated stuff and I like the recipes and I like the specialty stuff, but, and, and, you know, I use ingredients and I use my brags for a little bit of this and that, but think more to the real whole foods and not these complicated recipes and process and stuff. Just learn to eat, just learn to eat real food. 
Um, but yeah, in the beginning, just always be real with yourself and don't waste time. Don't waste time. I want you to do this. If you're listening to this today and you're struggling, don't even think about it. Just change your process. It, wh however you change your process, whether you go backwards, whether you adjust it here, where it is, whatever, don't just keep doing the same things over and over. And that, that's advice for everything in life. Uh, you know, if you fail, try another way. Try always kind of always be adjusting, always be tweaking. But um, you can do the raw vegan lifestyle. You can do it if you want to do it. And if you don't really want to do it, well, then no harm, no foul. You eat a, whole, a clean, uh, whole food, plant-based lifestyle, and you eat high raw, and you incorporate some good, clean, cooked food in there. No harm, no foul. I guess what I'm getting at is don't let that be some sort of a psychological thing that causes you this extreme guilt just because it, it like, you know, don't get crazy guilty over eating something that's cooked that's clean, you know. Um, but in the end, just, uh, just uh, work on your process. Everything is a process. I've, I've learned how to break things down now. I'm about to take off in a lot of different areas because I'm just kind of learning this. I'm learning how to take some of this stuff in food and apply it in a little bit different way to some of the things that I struggle with in life. And um, I'm seeing breakthroughs. This has been a good, 2017 has been a good year so far and I'm real interested uh, to see what's gonna come in the, in the rest of it. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.